Hey family, in today's episode of what in the wick is going on, we have my client. The client came to see me with flat wicks and it looks like, bless his heart, that he was put through some type of wick attack. Okay, it looked like his wicks were attacked, but they weren't attacked. The problem that's going on with these locks is that they were not combined um, well. That's what we're going to say. They weren't combined well. There's no reason for the hair to be falling apart if it was done correctly. This client came to me in this condition. Um, what we're looking at is after the shampoo and after he came from underneath the dryer. This is his hair in less than a year. So his hair was put together or reconstructed into these flat wigs, November, 2022. He came to see me July, 2023. And at that point, it had not been a year. Um, I did inquire how his hair fell apart like that. And I was told that, um, you know, overuse of rubber bands, but rubber bands wouldn't do this in such a short period of time. Um, based on my experience of reconstructive wick work and um, the amount of time that I spend uh observing and doing these types of services, it is very evident that when the hair was put together, one, it was cut. Two, it was overworked. So a lot of people know that when you're combining locks together, there is a matter of breaking the lock down so that you can bring it back together. If you do it too much, the hair will not sustain itself over time and you'll end up in a situation like this. As you can see right here, the lock is literally hanging down. There's no reason whatsoever that the lock should be hanging down. So um, I'm going to start repairing these locks right here. There are many different ways to repair locks. Um, this is the way that I'm choosing to repair his locks. And the main reason why I'm choosing to repair his locks using filler hair or as we know, um, crochet hair, some people call it locking hair, kinky hair. It's all the same thing. The reason why I'm choosing to use this route is because the hair is so super shredded that every time that I put my needle through it, it would break apart even more. So I made an executive decision that this would be the best option to repair the hair, somewhat like a Band-Aid. So I put the filler hair in. I am using a two prong 0 0.05 crochet needle. Um, of course, as you can see, I'm doing a back and forth motion. Um, I am pulling the hair through and I will be pulling the hair through to strengthen it in the middle. Also, I'll be using my crochet needle to pull it through back into the lock. Um, hopefully that makes some kind of sense, but I'll be pulling it back into the lock um, strengthening the lock so that it does not fall apart. It's almost like a lock aid, okay? Or like a band-aid, but a lock aid. Um, nonetheless, um, I, I do this uh, repetition. It did take me some time to um, get this done. Um, it was no easy task and you got to be careful. You can easily stab your finger with one of these needles. Um, I've had some experience doing this over time, so I'm pretty versed in making sure that I do not hurt myself or the client. Nonetheless, um, the client uh, has had these locks for less than a year and they are breaking apart. So it is so important that you spend time researching um, the person who is going to combine your locks together. I myself personally do not perform this service. I do not combine locks into wigs. It's just something that I choose not to do. However, I do repair them all day long. I get clients every week who have to be repaired. If you follow me on here, YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, you will see many of my videos where I am doing a lot of repair work on clients and um, you'd be surprised how much damage is being done out here in these streets in people's hair. Don't be fooled by what you see online. Everything that looks pretty online is not pretty in real life. And here is evidence of that. Um, a lot of times, everything that we want, we can't have, or everything that we want, we shouldn't have. 
just because um, we have a growing trend. One thing about um, hair trends is that it's just that it's a hair trend. And um, we tend to set many trends when it comes to our hair. And once that trend is popular, everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon, which is not a problem, except when this stuff like this happens. Um, these were seamlessly put together, but if you can see right there in the middle, that's the seam. That's where the hair was cut and attempted to be put back together. The person who attempted to put this back together really was not versed in how to seamlessly combine the hair back together. Okay. Um, again, I am using filler hair as a band-aid to pull into the lock so that I am able to um, salvage the hair before it falls out. The hair literally is hanging on a string. Again, I am, in this particular case, on this lock, I chose to use a one prong uh, 0 0.05 needle. And the reason why I did that is because the hair on this side of his hair tended to be a little um, stronger. So I didn't have to, you know, put as much effort into pulling that hair through um, like I did on the other side with the double prong. Um, here I am just pulling the hair through, okay? I am securing the lock back to itself. Um, over time, the hair, like lock extensions, will lock back into his hair. It takes anywhere from six to nine months for his hair to be locked back in to itself, and that's only if he's taking care of it, okay? It is important that when you get this service done that you keep up a regular maintenance regimen with your stylist or whoever put it together for you because this is no easy task. What you are doing is you are altering, altering the direction and the flow of a lock. Once you change the flow and the direction of the lock, you have to uh, take care of it as much as possible. Otherwise, you're going to end up at the lock clinic. I'm happy to oblige, but the goal is to not double spend. The goal is to um, have it done right and come to see me for maintenance. It's not a problem. So here I am um, finishing cleaning up his lock, his, or rather his flat wick. Um, as you notice, I have rubber bands at the roots. And let me tell you something. I use rubber bands at the roots because I just don't feel like holding um, the lock in my hand while I'm doing it. Um, I also find that using rubber bands takes the pressure off the scalp as well as makes it easier for you to um, pull that loose hair in. But it doesn't mean anything if you take the rubber band off and don't know how to pull in or tap it off at the, um, at the end of the lock. Nonetheless, this is the end result. These are the locks and this is the finished look. Um, this young man will definitely have to keep up his maintenances to maintain this look. Um, and as far as styling is concerned, I, I, this is probably really the only way that he'll be able to um, wear his hair down. Um, he might be able to pull it back a little bit into a ponytail-like style, but for the most part, this is a culture. This is a lifestyle. This is who we are uniquely and differently beautiful.